What's going on guys? Today we are checking out the Panaracer Gravel King tire. Uh, this guy is a 700 by 32 C uh, in the tubeless casing variety. Uh, obviously as you can tell with the standard black sidewall uh, and the non-colored tread. So this guy is going to be going on my 2021 Santa Cruz Stigmata front and rear. And uh, so to me this is something that's a little more protective than say like a GP500 or sorry a GP5000 type tire but uh, will give me some pretty good rolling resistance and protection when uh, I do go from cement off onto gravel. So as we can see here like I mentioned this is the TLC variety which is the tubeless casing uh, which I have been running tubeless on the Maxxis tires for uh, a little while now. Um, let's see, actually uh, ever since I had it so uh, I'm a big fan of tubeless and I obviously want to keep that continuing with the Gravel Kings so I would get the uh, tubeless casing if I were in that situation for you. Here is the SKU if anyone does want to check it out and order this guy online. Uh, you know, here's the 700 by 32 uh, as discussed and model. As we can see in the center here, uh, these tires do have a wear indicator line that's built in, um, I, I don't know, every 12 inches or so, something like that, so that you can see as the tread does wear out, um, where that is and how much life you have left. So as mentioned, these are made in Japan. Um, so the back of this particular tire is uh, written in Japanese, I would assume. And uh, if you can read that, let me know what it says. Um, don't really know myself because I'm in Canada but uh, there's a back shot of the tire itself. So I'm gonna cut one of these guys open, uh, mount it up with a tube, just to kind of give you an idea of the profile of the tire itself. Um, but as uh, we are a few months away from the season, I will be going tubeless, so that might be a video down the road here in the springtime. But I figured you'd probably wanna check this guy out to see what it is in fact like uh, set up t uh, on a tire with a rim profile of 23 mil ID in that uh, 32 mil C size. So let's cut this guy open, take a quick look at the tire, maybe uh, see if there's any secrets hidden in the casing itself on the inside, and then we will go ahead and mount that up. Bada bing. Some directions. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, if the camera's going to focus, but uh, instruction manual on how to use. I don't think that's going to be anything too important. Well, here's a quick inside profile of the tire itself on underneath. So uh, this is where obviously your tube or sealant would go. Something that you're wanting to look for here on a good quality tire is that there aren't any bubbles, tears, rips, or bulges. And uh, in this case, uh, there's none of that. So to me, this is a bit of a testament to Panaracer. They've, uh, you know, they've kind of led this category for a number of years now, but no bulges, no bubbles, no tears, nothing like that. Obviously you can see some full marks from it being in its case for a little while here, but that's nothing to worry about. But uh, to me, this looks like a very well-made tire. So these guys definitely feel a little softer in terms of the rubber compound than say uh, a GP5000, which is often compared with. Um, it's 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 kind of nice that they have that wear mark built in so that you can kind of track the mileage. And with the rubber being a little softer, it's certainly gonna wear a little quicker. So from what I've read online, people are getting, uh, you know, two, three, four thousand K on a set of these. Uh, which it seems to be about what I imagine that I'm gonna get. So that's totally cool. Let's go ahead, uh, take this guy, mount it up to that I-23 mil uh, rim and see what it looks like. All right, so we have it all mounted up on my WTB rim, uh, inside diameter of 23 millimeters with the 32 mil Panaracer Gravel King Slick. So went on really easy, um, which is what I would expect for a 350 gram tubeless capable case tire. And uh, it seems to fit really, really nice. So that logo is nice and pronounced on the side of the rim, which I think looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you want that retro look, you can certainly go for the tan sidewall. And then hiding on the side of the casing there is that TLC logo, which tells uh, everybody that's checking your bike out that it is in fact a tubeless var variation of the tire. So here's a uh, quick measurement of the rim width itself, as you can see, uh, with, I believe, do we see a wear mark there? I don't know if I can or not, but uh, this is to give you an idea of the width itself. So 32 mil on a 23 internal diameter 
uh, rim, which I think is going to be a perfect mix between uh, rolling resistance and capability in terms of bump absorption off-road. Alright guys, so that's the tire for now. I've showed you it out of the box. I've uh, gone over the inside of the tire and I've mounted it to my 23mm uh, internal diameter rim. So I'm pretty excited about this. As I mentioned in the past here, it's a good mix of rolling resistance, grip, and casing durability with that 350 gram average per tire is what they're telling me in 32. Uh, it seems like a winner to me and perfect for me. So if maybe you're in the mindset of I want to get on road riding on the weekends and do some gravel during the week and not worry about puncturing through your expensive uh, Grand Prix 5000s, then maybe this is what you want. Um, if you've got a recommendation that's a little better suited, definitely leave it below and uh, tell me what you think. Alright guys, peace.